Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the new review. We're back in Valencia car show for the second time and we're gonna check out the new MG4. So here's the first look on the channel of the new MG4. So this is supposed to be people's electric car, the affordable. And um, I think MG is gonna surprise a lot of people uh, with their sales because uh, I like their Marvel. Well, that's more like a luxury SUV, uh, but uh, and the uh, ZSE. So uh, the MG4 looks quite astonishing. Uh, it has this sharp light. So let's come a little bit closer, check them out. Uh, very sharp looking uh, headlights. I have LED projectors inside. So you can see that looks quite different. They usually put LED on top, but this time they're on the bottom and projecting to the reflectors. Uh, you can see Sake Vision uh, full LED system and you have the uh, daytime running lights on the top uh, over here these are not the fog lights these are turn signals so quite interesting they uh, decided to do that uh, we have a little bit piano black now i'm not sure if this is like a launch color or the only color i hope it's not uh, there are two variants for the batteries with a smaller and bigger battery um, i'm gonna link in the video description uh, the details now we have unpainted plastic, some sort of carbon fiber imitation here. And uh, this is closed. I'm not sure if this opens up. It doesn't look like it's openable. Okay, this does open. So there's probably flaps that open up when you need air intake. And of course, since this is electric, completely closed grill, they put the MG badge there and a wide lens camera. Now there is also a, uh, what appears to be radar in the color of the vehicle and I like this diffuser, she's like sucking in the air when necessary. Uh, this appears to be closed. So interesting design. I'm not really sure if it's sitting on me from the first, but usually you get used to those design languages that you don't like from the first sight, but we all have different tastes in design as well. So checking the alloys, these are 17 inch uh, silver, black, let me see here. So these are like, oh, these are hubcaps. hubcaps. So it appears that you have alloys behind this. You can see silver. So I'm wondering how the alloy looks like. So you can, of course, remove that if you don't want the aerodynamics, if you like the looks. It looks like MG copied Tesla, so there's a little leaf. I can see they've extended the alloy and you're gonna curb your alloys, definitely. Maybe not on these tires, these are not, there's a bit, bigger tire 17 inch but this is completely copying tesla design shamelessly um, these are 215 50 r17 and at the bottom we have that plastic protection going around uh, on the windows we have black trim around contrasting mirrors uh, turn signals and 360 camera system you can see the dash you have speaker there so on both ends air vent we have a lane assist camera only there's a little sensor for the lights and long beam it's automatic no light and rain sensor interesting have a blind spot uh, in the side mirrors and turn signal facing the driver now on the top uh, this is not a panel roof I think it's not so it's just a color but it looks sporty now this is a huge panel gap there um, spoiler tunneling the air through the middle and to the bottom there factory tint on the windows now this one's not a window if I'm not mistaken but it's nicely covered <coughs> kind of matches the flow there and then on the rear same dimension if I'm not mistaken and we have real brakes not drum brakes now if we open here you can see the charge port so AC for slow charging and Combine DC for fast charging, so combine the CCS, and then this one's just Type 2 for European standard. Uh, again, LED uh, lightning system. Now, if I back up here, you can see the whole car. It looks quite unique. At the first, it was a little bit shocker, to be honest, but I think that was the intention of MG to caught attention. Have beautiful red. Uh, LED lights, you have turn signals here, and then you have these 
interesting details that also illuminate. There's no one here so I can show you the rear look and you have of course this is electric like a diffuser uh, cat eyes and a fog light in the middle on the back really interesting design they decided to put the badge behind the transparent plexiglass you have the led lights back and camera I'm gonna press here to open an mg electric now let's open it up oh also you have a stoplight on the top there so let's back up here, you can see the full car. Voila, so. Now, considering this is electric, practical cargo space and easily accessible. So checking on the top, you can close manually. You can probably open it from the inside. The top is plain. You can remove the hard top, rubber stoppers. You can put a longer umbrella here and checking here, uh, right side grocery hook extra space is a lunette here on the left same but you have a uh, white cool light on the left i don't see a 12 outlet now as you can see here uh, this is put to the lower position so in that case you have four fingers extra height now this could be pulled out and it could be placed uh, there but uh, you need to extend side flaps. So let me show you here. So you have these, they're magnetic and they snap into place. And then over here you can see the patching kit and when it's empty. So there you go. And then you can put this back up here. Get it. Nail it there. And then it's completely flat and practical. If you have to put cargo space and flat with this so you can see that seats knock down 60 40 and you have those child seat anchors in the back so really interesting design language on this electric vehicle so let's jump inside so the doors are light you have to lose have to use a little bit more force than I used at the first attempt. Doors open fairly wide, so if you need to put a child seat, it's not a problem. Checking the seals, double sealing, and going around, extra sealing there. You can push this to lock from the inside for the kits, so they do not open by accident. Roman 5 means this is a factory tint, so this is hard plastic, so weight reduction. Gives you more range. Uh, you know, black there, big handles. This is nicely soft, covered with leather, padded, blue contrast stitching, little rubber mat there, our windows, speaker there, and a little ball area, hard plastics uh, also down there. Checking here, let's see if we can knock down the seats. So there's no seatbelt aligner, so you have to watch the seatbelt. You can see the cargo space there and room there. And if I back, put this back, you can see that. So let's come down here. So since it's electric, more shallow uh, floor, big seats tall, have okay leather, blue contrast stitching, textile in the middle, have those isofix points behind that. You can see like, it's covered uh, black roof liner is there you can see that let's let's get inside yeah it looks interesting I'm seeing this for the first time of course same as you now I adjusted the front seat for myself uh, okay feet room a little bit tight if someone goes all the way down you can see big pockets leather contrast blue stitching there huh well I'll look at this I didn't notice this USB A, and then there's a big cubby there. So, uh, actually, there's no light over here. I wanted to show some light, but you can see like that if I move my shadow. Uh, there is some sort of like transmission tunnel because there's like a small hump, it's wide, but I think so many so much space you can actually squeeze a third person. Now, this is my hands are sweating a little bit. Um, this is nice and comfy, wide seats, comfortable, unfortunately no 
uh, middle armrest be cool if they had that uh, really big windows now yeah they try to maximize the headspace here so we're gonna see in a moment if it's okay uh, no headrest for the middle seat and it seems like a good overview on the rear I wish this was Alcantara it's kind of in a moment it looked like it was but it's just plastic let's hear the closing sound mm, solid bit clunky but solid uh, fixed seat belt grocery hook there in the big pillar and checking the headspace so um, hmm, straighten up mm, slightly touching can straighten up my head I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 in feet but for an average person it should be okay checking the front interesting yes uh, and I noticed there are no handles just like in Tesla for whatever reason that's what I don't like um, yeah, let's get on the front and see uh, how it looks on the front. Uh, have in mind the car is uh, uplifted on this, so it might look taller than it actually is. And let me see here, you can, I guess, press to lock. There's a little uh, piece here, you can pop the plastic. There's a cylinder, physical cylinder, if you deplete your thermal battery. Uh, in that case, if you need to open. Now, uh, the front door is open even wider. And we have same materials, hard plastic on the front as well, same as on the rear. All power windows automatic, you can lock the rear for the kids. Um, you can lock or unlock that. Uh, there is bottle area, a speaker here. Uh, tire pressure is here, there was some on the B pillar from that end as well. So over here you have the MG original carpets, they're fixated. Paddle standard, we're gonna pop the front later. Uh, and let's see here, this is we're back and forward, up and down for the whole seat so the knee area does not move. And I'll tilt the seat, uh, no lumbar support. Now, leather, it looks like a real leather, like old fashioned leather. Textile here, blue stitching and solid bolsters looks okay we have interesting opening here that's not connected the middle tunnel now steering column is manual uh, your mirrors controls uh, fully electric and foldable no heating option and your light height control uh, these are from audi uh, i guess borrowed or stolen design uh, mg has hired audi designers I think that's what Chinese do <clears throat> sometimes. Um, now, let's see here. I'm going to switch to wide lens. And this is the point of view. Interesting steering wheel, flat top and bottom. And we have here a little infrared uh, sensor monitoring driver eyes. The driver attention screen is on the top so your eyes are closer to the road. And interesting, we still have physical buttons is nice like rest of the models and yeah let's zoom back in now MG horn there kind of plastic like in Golf 8 piano black horrible but you have physical buttons so that's nice favorites um, I don't know maybe like something like an autopilot voice commands um, infotainment options obviously favorites and phone calls maybe for the infotainment now we don't have a key unfortunately uh, let's see here, we have the uh, controls for the lights and wipers, again, they look just like from Audi. Um, air vents, you know, black, horrible looking, but it is what it is. And this is soft, the rest is hard, uh, air vent there, speakers in the back. The screen looks nice, the basil is actually big, but the sides look nice and thin. There we go, oh. You can hear some clicking sounds. MG, ooh, fancy. Um, Avatar. Uh, a bit laggy though, but the car is not on. I believe with the key it should work uh, better. Um, yeah, so here's the screen. Uh, so you have a few options. There's like two, two pages. AC radio, user phone, vehicle. That's AC, whoa, so is this a demo mode or did I press something and it's lagging? 
Hmm, it's not responding actually. Okay, let's leave it at that. Uh, so we have here AC controls, front and rear defrost hazards. You can see from the driver perspective. That's a nice home uh, volume. And these are like blanks. Now, soft dash, bad but then hard plastic. Let's open this one. No, oh, it's here. I thought I saw a button on a different place. So there's a lot of stuff here. You get this MG stuff. Uh, okay, so this one's not from the MG, it's something different, but small glove compartment there. So that's that. And over here we have a rubber mat. I don't see a symbol. Oh, there it is. It is QI charging. And you have here uh, press to park, reverse, neutral, drive, and parking, electronic parking brake. MG Electric signature there. And moving down here, we have a USB C and A and a 12 volt outlet there. And over here, we have adjustable cup holders. There's a small symbol there and a rubber mat that looks all quite good. And this is kind of plastic. You see someone kind of scratched it. It's actually rubberized. You can open this up. Also rubber mat. There's a big space here, nothing here. And there's a little net here. Soft, but doesn't extend. It'd be cool if it does. There's no mechanism, you just pull it up. No, like nothing you need to press. Uh, rubber mat at the bottom, and I really didn't clean this car, but it's spacious. Yeah. Spacious, the seats feel okay, they really feel comfortable. Nice big cushions. And let's check the top. So we have the uh, auto dimming there. And they have a fairly good overview, but it's narrow and you can see further behind you. Uh, big basil on the mirror there. On the top you have those lights. You can, I guess, turn them on or off. Let me see here. Maybe it won't open the door. No. Okay, um, and uh, there's like a little, uh, like a plasticky spongy thing. The glasses, you have the emergency call here. Oh, this one's not a cover, so you just press it and yeah, and like a speaker maybe for Bluetooth calls. Uh, you can put a document holder here, I guess, and this looks like from Volkswagen Group cover for the privacy mirror no lights on the top and let's see if this extends no it's not covered here but you know not too shabby now oh there's a lot of boom sound spreading that's not they're a little bit cheaper now there's no sound insulation I guess between the roof and the roof aligner now, uh, this is sort of my angle. I can see the hood, good overview for the mirror. And uh, we have a nice display here, um, but it's currently not on. It only turns on when I open the doors without the key. And over here you can see charging. So it's limited to 80%. Uh, well, it's grayed out, but you can see the layout here. Uh, range 80%, 335 kilometers. Now, if that was real data, uh, it'd be awesome, but I think it'd probably be no, it says here on 100%, 428 kilometers of range. Now, I guess if you kill, I'm, you kill the battery. If you're using the 100% of the battery, really charge 100%, which is not recommended only for trips, uh, and burn it all the way to the zero, I guess you can pull out 400 and almost 30. But in reality, it's probably going to give you around 300. But still, that's not too shabby. Music, Bluetooth context keypad home yeah let's see the navigation if it shows it oh nice it's like google maps yeah i'm in fiera valencia in uh, spain let me see here let me pinch the zoom is quite responsive there so it's nice Home. We have the AC shortcuts here, so that also looks quite nice. You have the heated steering wheel, eco, AC on and off, 
looks solid. Oh, it appears that this is where the fog light is. It's grayed out. Weird choice to put that there. Uh, you have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I guess, but it's grayed out. Please use USB cable. And AC radio vents settings. Hmm, uh, it's not actually it's not that responsive on some things. I'm not sure if it's because of the keys not here or is it that like that in general? It might be the key. In, from my experience, cars uh, sometimes uh, act up without the key. Oh, the dark theme looks way better, especially since the whole dash is dark. Um, language, GPS, distance, units, Bluetooth, um, wireless connection, vehicle hotspot, uh, volume settings. System. And there. So this is how it looks at night. Let me see the map there. Also looks pretty solid. Nice. Oh, we have weather as well. Yeah, that has the screen. Uh, it's probably the key, but... I've seen worst cars that are uh, more expensive. So this is this is the part that's grayed out, but you can see it's quite actually not bad. Let's see if we can turn on the video. Oh, this is like playing the video for uh, media, like a USB or Bluetooth uh, 360 camera. Huh, not the greatest uh, camera resolution, but the screen lit resolution is good. And you have 360. I mean. Maybe serves its purpose, helps you, but doesn't look that good, if you ask me. And of course, you can have users, multiple users, if it's a family, company, car, and I'm going to wrap it there. Too bad we didn't see the, uh, how do you turn this off? It's just hold in. Yeah. So, be cool. I'm going to see if I can ask for a key. They've turned the entertainment for us. Uh, people in Spain are really polite. And even uh, wait when you are filming a review, so I really have to compliment them. Uh, you can see here now a little more detail. So I'm just gonna go through this uh, maximum current start charging. There's a little settings there. Uh, discharging settings, energy consumption since last charge. Uh, going back here. Um, Let's go to the um, to the vehicle information. So now this is uh, more responsive and definitely um, looking good uh, for such a affordable car. Traffic sign recognition, yes, please. You can see all of those. Blind spot alerts, towing mode. Audible warning, convenience, lights flashing, okay, safety. Now we have the fog lights, oh, they're on, oh, they're not on, they are, okay. I'm gonna see if I can get out before it switches off as well. You saw the video, um, not sure what this is for. Um, yeah, and I think I showed you that all the all of these. So let's uh, come back to the screen here and check it out. So interesting, you have the uh, guidance there. Uh, if you're parking neutral drive, uh, you have the status of charge and range displayed all together. You have here the distance, have the speedometer, and driving mode there. So let me see here if I can use one of these guys. Nope, might be the other one. What's this for? Nothing happens. Okay, so pressing the, this little guy. Uh, you change. Okay, select this. Okay, uh, well this guy, you play here, but uh, this is in uh, Spanish. Let me see if I could, but this is in English. This is in no navigation, but um, hmm. okay. 
So you have here radio settings, you have tire pressure. Sorry, let's go closer like this, you can see better. So uh, total, I guess trip time, consumption, hmm. <clears throat> navigation. Okay. So you can see, uh, I guess, the odometer or something. So, um, sorry, I don't know Spanish. I just know some th some words that are uh, familiar for me from the uh, soap operas and uh, that uh, resemble English. Um, I don't see driving modes though. Um, at least not a button for that. But yeah, that's how the infotainment looks like. It's not too shabby, considering, again, everything. Uh, I think it's quite solid looking, to be honest. Um, now, I'm not gonna go reverse drive, of course, because they turned on the car for me. Um, I would like to show you the fog lights there, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's see, just hear the climate. Oh. So, I turn it on. Oh. Want to change the temperature here to something more. 21. Okay, you have the heated steering wheel there. Oh, it just switches off. Feels like it's acting up a little bit, or it's too sensitive. So, let's just switch it off and switch off the heated steering wheel. Okay, maybe they. It's an earlier version, maybe they need to work it out a little bit, but uh, all together, not too shabby. Uh, I think you're gonna agree with me uh, there. Um, you can see the auto dimming function there, and let me see the lights now. Oh yeah, warm lights on the front. No lights on the rear as far as I've seen. Um, and let me see the headlights, if I can turn them on. Yeah, they're on now. So let's see if I, I can exit the car and run around. So, before it turns off, so you can see the LEDs. I guess the fog lights are integrated in the main light cluster there. You can see those projectors. And maybe the fog light is only for the rear. Yeah, so. Okay, now it's on, maybe for the rear only. Let's check it out. I'm trying to be here detail, as always in my reviews. Oh yeah, it's on the bottom, I completely forgot. So yeah, and there is some sort of like a speaker or something here. Spoiler alert, uh, there is no front space, but if you wanna see how it looks, you push it uh, to the right side, just above the badge. You have to use the little leg and there is your washer fluid if you want to see where to top it up and there's no front space so their electric motor should be underneath let's see here hmm. i don't think i see one so uh i think this might be the a rear wheel drive possibly with smaller battery i'm not sure if the all-wheel drive is an option i know i checked the spec before there was two battery sizes but uh, I didn't really check if it has an all-wheel drive but I would assume that this is only a rear wheel drive I'm gonna link again the spec inside the video description so you can check it out for yourself let me show you the hazards and there we go you can see the hazards now I guess there should be reverse light you can see the turn signals nice and big and over here you can see the hazards on the front so everyone hope you liked the video smash the like button if you did leave your comments how do you like the mg4 if you want to see more from valencia subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified when i upload more videos thanks for watching bye